So, yeah, I guess to continue the tears. Put the microphone on. Wait a minute. Okay, uh, this is Gene Jennings we're talking about. You guys know this, right? You use honey for flies to get rid of For hornets, you use gasoline. Uh, 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 yes. So, uh, first of all, I'd just like to let everybody know that this is also a reminder that this last year they're having human sentiment at retirement. Uh, it's been phased out next year, it's all going to be done by bots. So, uh, so this is the last time I'm going to see this. But Gene Jennings, final review, we're going to go through that. Gene, you could, you could actually refuse this, but you won't get your grand pay. So it's up to you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get my cream thing. <laughs> Alright, so Gene, uh, yeah, we can switch the slide. Let's start with Aries and we'll move <laughs> So this is a important topic, and for Gene, we only did a self-assessment, so we just took one of your own comments. So this is one of Gene's uh, feedback that she got from herself. They all think I'm paranoid. I know it. <laughs> So let's see examples of this paranoid theory. Are there any examples out there? I think there are some. Uh, she wouldn't take the bonus assessment even with the discount. Stop When forking a yard for this, uh, now, I didn't know what this was, but it's like when you toilet paper except with forks. Uh, on the south side, she so stick forks to yours. Uh, she tried to prank somebody, but she got pranked back and was convinced that the Des Moines Police Department had her DNA. <laughs> <and it was, laughs> so what else did we have She stopped wearing her, her aluminum foil hat and realized that it's exactly what the Reynolds rat established. <laughs> and her final thing is, she knows where they buried Eddie. <laughs> So, let's say the reality. The reality, Gene, is if we really wanted your DNA, we could swap any bathroom at the Iowa State. You don't need to worry about the wellness assessment. But the other reality, the bigger reality, too, that you should really know is don't flatter yourself. Even Google has lost interest <laughs> Take a scan and say a search of gene of no results. <laughs> so, uh, I'm ready for that. so, so now, we got your bullet of strengths. Now we're to strengths. So I think we're probably done. <laughs> June 1988, when it all started. And about the same time, two years earlier, there was a movie that came out, Back to the Future. But I'm going to be honest with Jean, and we're going to use it to go over her life story, but really, Back to the Future, ready. <laughs> she really has, and that's one nice thing, because she really has had that, and this is the mindset, not the program. But <laughs> she really has had that in her, in her, uh, in her, her whole career here at Principal, she's had that future writing moment. Uh, but let's throw back Thursday. So I was here actually when Gene first used a computer. I remember that day. And it was easy to remember because the year was 2007. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, it wasn't really on purpose. She thought she was playing Battleship. <laughs> I remember she called out, uh, you sang my cat walks <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she did eventually learn, uh, learn, learn some technology, but did provide some sort of scandal back in her home city of, was it Walnut Grove? Shelby. 
Very good, very good. Now, actually, in Brave City, it caused a scandal in the newspaper. She really did believe that. Absolutely. But I do have this thing, just as a former physics major, you might want to know before you write a piece of metal in the air kind of how <laughs> But um, I think why Gene had success, this is my one mandatory nice slide. What made Gene successful was one constant forward. Gene knew what going forward meant. So, if you've ever been in a train, I know I don't take a lot of the trains, where's my in New York City? You can be on a train, and if a train takes off going the other direction, you'll think you're going forward, but you're not. They're going away from you. Jean wasn't deceived by that, so she always knew what going forward meant. And the other thing was uh, together. So she always wanted to do things together. She was always big in promoting uh, all the people on her team. And so those are the two things uh, for her success. And I, I, do, I do agree with that. Now let's. Stop that. <laughs> and go on to, oh, well, this is good. Her ideas were more tactical than strategic, and that is true. So, and Jean and I worked together, we did more tactical things. And how you can know they were tactical was this. The ideas and designs that we developed her lasted 20 years. And I've never seen a strategic plan last more than three. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because Jean and I uh, Gene and I's philosophy, I think when we started doing all this stuff together, was a great strategy is often a series of good tactical maneuvers. And that's really what we did together. And so we did that together, and that's really our whole concept of what we, of what we did together. And O'Reilly Talent Search, and then you can some guy's basement weekly. <laughs> so let's go back in time, though, so now. So we're going we're gonna to return Gene to innocence. So let's go back. Well, let's go back further than this. That's currently... Yeah, this is nice, this is great, and, you know, all these things. Let's go back further in time than this. Oh, wow. Family, that's wow. great. Let's go back further in time. Oh, Ooh. Look at my wedding. It's our wedding. Let's go back further in time. Oh, no, too far. Too far in time. Go forward, go forward, go forward. Look back. Now, yes. Oh, here. Wow. We want. Ah, oh, sweet innocent. She's not just BF, she's my BFF. Okay, go ahead. So let's, Jean's bucket list for her newer and truer self. So we'll go over what's left for in her life. So this is her bucket list. So let's go through number uh, 10. Stop mocking bucket list. Number 9. Arrange my precious moments figurines from least to most darling. It's a big collection, let me tell you. This is not just a sprint. This is like a whole epic uh, for her. So this will be a big deal. End a sentence with a preposition. Just get over the grammar stuff for a second, right? Uh, leave a tip after a meal without using coins. Remember my children mentioning life's greatest moments. It would be nice sometime to have that come up. Uh, what's the next one? Remember my husband mentioning life's recent moments. And then, see a double rainbow without the aid of alcohol. That could happen, it really could. Uh, take the friend's quiz and tell him to rage you. Are, you are Rachel, in my opinion. Number two, appreciate jazz. I know, it'll never happen. That'll never happen. Ask, what do you think? And listen. <laughs> <laughs> now back to your beatbox sentiment. Thank you very much. <laughs> 